Hi, and welcome to the Quantum Creativity Show. I'm your host, Santari Green, welcoming you to another amazing conversation. Uh, with this week's guest uh, is Julia Miles. Uh, she'll be talking to us and sharing with us her experience of everyday magic. So, welcome to the Quantum Creativity Show, Julia. Thank you, Santari. Hi. Hi, everybody. So, I've had some experience of your magic, and I've uh, heard some anecdotes about how you've done things for other people, how you've done some things for yourself, which are absolutely mind-blowingly amazing. And I'm just wanting you to share some of those uh, stories with us and basically how does it work. So what is your everyday magic, um, Julia? How does it look in, in life, in your everyday um, operation? Well, the first time that um, I created some magic, I... Um, I suppose my back was against the wall really and I have learnt from that that I do create and actually work at my best when my back's against the wall. However, we were in danger of losing our lovely home because the mortgage rate had gone up to really ridiculous proportions and uh, so we temporarily moved out into a flat and rented it but I decided that I would create that I would always be able to stay in my home if I wanted to. And I thought, this has got to be, this is, I've really got to get going here. But I hadn't got a clue how it was going to work. So I thought, right, I need to let go of that completely and align and go into the magic. And when I did, I completely let go of the how it would happen and I visualized and believed that something would happen that I would be able to stay in my wonderful home and believe it or not within a week um, the this was, must have been about 2000 and um, 2008, nine, something like that. Within a week, the more all the mortgage rates had crashed and gone down <laughs> to two percent, and it was like an unbelievable thing that had happened. And I thought, <laughs> oh my word! So I thought, right, okay, this could be a coincidence. I'll try again. So I aligned went into the magic um, my husband and I wanted a boat um, and uh, it was a, a question of um, champagne life what is it champagne lifestyle on lemonade wages and we wanted a big boat and we wanted a catamaran so I thought okay into the magic again which I'll go into in detail in a little while into the magic created that my husband and I had a large uh, catamaran uh, that was ours and then just let it go the following week um, I'll cut out the all, all the ins and outs of it the following week we were offered a catamaran that was being built in South Africa and we could have all we had to do was put a small deposit on it um, it will be sailed um, to a destination and then it will be chartered out and the charterers would pay for the boat Oh, oh my word again. So we said yes, immediately, of course. And then they phoned us up and they said, would you mind if the catamaran was in the Bahamas? Oh, no, I don't. So the catamaran was duly sailed to the Bahamas and we had a guaranteed rent coming in every month, which paid for the boat. And within a couple of years, the boat was ours. And in, that, in those interim years, we had six weeks free holiday on it every year. So I was... I thought I need to go over and see Solera and Santari really quickly, <laughs> <laughs> really, really quickly, and uh, and it works. Um, it 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 just really works, um, and and it's quite amazing. And the reason that it works is because you let go of. Um, 
you let go of sort of your of reasoning in your head as to how it could work because the how I would never ever have thought of in a million years so the how has got to completely be let go of um, so um, those were the those are the things that have happened oh and recently and that's it recently um, in fact about two months ago um, my husband hadn't done any sailing he loves sailing and, and I do too not not quite as well I'm not quite as good as he is and I thought right we need a sailing holiday into the magic and out of it has come um, a 10 week sailing holiday in the Caribbean <laughs> voila! <laughs> voila! <laughs> So if I can just go over some of the mechanics of this. Yeah. You have a, a particular um, picture of what it is that you want. Would that be true? Yes, but it, it, it's um, like the picture of the last thing I did was just, I want to sail with my husband. End of. It doesn't go any deeper than that in the first instance because... After, from that, the magic is starting to work. And that magic is so strong and so powerful, there is no way I'm going to stop it. And every day I'm aligning and I'm collecting my magic. Come on, magic. Um, my husband and I want to sail. And then it happens that we got offered the 10 week, we got offered the sailing thing. But I thought, I need a little bit more magic here to make it more viable. So a little bit more magic and it became more and more viable. More money was knocked off, more money was knocked off. And, and then that's it, bang, we've got it. Right, so this is, as you say, aligning every day with um, the amazing things that can occur. Would you also say that... Um, because I think these, you know, these, it's important to get some sort of understanding about the mechanics of this. Right. Would you say that you've got some sort of um, completely clear um, power in you that says, this is what I want, and I'm f being strong with this uh, intention? Yes, I, I don't do, I align every day, but I don't create this magic every day. But when I am going to create it, I align and I know without a shadow of a doubt that this magic is so wonderful and so fantastic that I can just sort of say, come on magic, this is what I'd like. But I never for one trillion million megasecond ever think how it's going to happen because every time I've done it the how it's going to happen has been so out of the box off the wall whatever you want to say it that I could not possibly have thought it up so I, I, I just know that the magic and when I get into the magic, it's like, oh, I get into it, and and it's, I'm so full of awe and wonder, and I also get very excited. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you know a, you know, a, a Boba Rivero, you know how it's plain chocolate on the outside and all bubbles on the inside. Well, I can feel myself bubbling on the inside and all these little bubbles are coming I'm thinking oh this is magic <laughs> and it's just like and then after I finish I sort of I sit there and I think right okay and it doesn't it doesn't go like bang 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 I don't know when I'm going to see the fruition of it but f after that I'm always alert um uh, and, and if something happens or I get an email or a letter or somebody says something, I think, is this the magic? And then I, I align and I go into it, is this the magic? And if it is, the bubbles start coming and I start feeling excited and I'm thinking, oh, this is this not this? It's not this. <laughs> that's, that's what it's like. 
and uh, it's just incredible. Um, and it, it surprises me every time it does. It surprises me. So I'm getting a feeling here that you're actually interacting with the, um, we'll call it the magic, the power mm -hmm. of whatever it is that's allowing these things to happen in your experience of life. Yeah. Uh, but that you've got some sort of interaction taking place where you are aware of it and it is aware of you. And that when you get excited, perhaps that stirs it even more into action. Would you claim that might be true? Probably, yes. Um, but I'm, I'm so much in awe of it, and, and I love it. And um, it, it, oh, how can I explain? It's a bit like um, I don't know. Um, when I'm working with it, because I'm not holding it small by trying to go into my head, I'm like, come on, come on. And, and it seems to give it room and it thinks, yeah, I'll have a big hug there then and, and, and then it comes. Um, I have to say in all this conversation, I don't do it a lot, as you know, Santori. It's only when I, I really really want something to happen and I make sure before I do it that whatever I want to happen it's not going to have any adverse effect on anybody else if I when I said I would like to sail a boat first of all I thought this is not you know is this going to have an adverse effect on anybody I know my family my friends etc no it's not so I'll go for it um, because that that's probably just me being a bit silly because I couldn't um, live with myself if I created something that was going to harm people so I would never do that but I think that the magic knows it and it's like um, it's like being a child and coming down on Christmas morning and you think oh, oh. you know it's like oh so this is very, very much something you can always rely on to be there. Do you know, I, oh, do you know I've never thought of it I, because I've always known that it will. So that question has <laughs> never entered my head. How odd. Do you know that I've, I've only just thought of that now. That, quite, that statement has never entered my head. Isn't that hard? No, I think that's quite a, probably a right thing for you to say because you take it so much for part of your life. Yes, I, I don't take it for granted. No. Um, and I, I have never thought about it not being there because that's part of it. The, 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 the whole thing is knowing with all your knowing and all your being that it's there if there's one teensy bit of doubt it, it, I don't think it will play I really don't and, and, and there's just never any doubt just isn't a word that exists hmm. I was, I'm thinking that the, um, the idea of Aladdin and the, uh, the genie of the lamp comes to mind when Aladdin uh, discovers the, the lamp in the cave and he's got his back to the wall. How does he get out? Hand brushes against the lamp, rubs the lamp, and then, you know, and consciously the genie appears. What do you, what would you wish, master? And Aladdin's taken back and, well, I want to get out of here. <laughs> as, you, as you say it, so it is. I think that um, what we're talking about is so much a natural occurrence of... Um, of what we consider to be a magical life that you don't actually need the genie or the magic lamp because you in effect are the genie and um, what you're doing is you're invoking something which is so obviously present that uh, you couldn't imagine that life would be devoid of this because this is what makes life so absolutely special yes. and amazing and um, miraculous yes. so therefore it exists because you exist you exist in it 
and it exists in you. So I think it was pretty right that we, you say, I can't imagine that there would be, this force would not be available. Yes, yes, yes. And um, I, j a short while ago, I, I just said, I've got to really, really believe without a shadow of a doubt. And it's, it, I've had a little light bulb moment, Santori, that when I joined up with Skype, and when I started my business a long time ago, my um, business was called Begin to Believe and my Skype thing was called Begin to Believe and that was before I started working with magic. So maybe I was telling myself. <laughs> I would have just thought of that. Because Begin to Believe came into my head and I wrote it down and there was no other reason than that. And isn't that odd? And that's my Skype sign in, begin to believe. Oh, that's the way these things work. The right old moment. <laughs> oh, my giddy hands. Oh, I don't know. I have actually tried, um, I have um, tried to work the magic with um, a, a couple of people who we were with at your house last time. Um, I don't know if anything's happened yet because. Um, I haven't done it for other people. Is that naughty? Is that selfish? Because um, nope. I, I haven't done it very often, and uh, it quite—it doesn't overawe me. It um, um, when after I've done it, after I've created this, I, I'm then living in a sort of um, a, a, a world of expectation. Um, how is it going to, you know, no, or wh when is it going to manifest, the how and evidence, or when is it going to manifest itself? And I need to be alert for things yes. coming in. And uh, so after I've done it, until I, I'm alert until I know that it's come to fruition. But sometimes it, um, bang, <laughs> And I think, whoa! And sometimes it, it's a little bit longer, but I'm always alert after it after it's happened. But once again, never ever go into the how, because all of those years ago, if I'd said to him, my husband was worried sick about paying the mortgage, if I said to him, oh, don't worry, next week it's going to crash and the mortgage rate's going to go down to two percent, <laughs> he'd have said, oh no, again, and. I actually did say it to him, and when the mortgage rate went down, so I went, see, and he went, oh, no, it's not you, you know, but I thought, yes, yes. <laughs> So it's never the how, because I tell you what, the magic is gobsmacking. It is, it's just gobsmacking, and I love it because it's so gobsmackingly, amazingly out of the box. So I guess my um, my final question is going to be: um, Do you stir the magic, or does the magic nudge and stir you? Interaction. Oh, cheer up! Um. Oh, I've got all feeling peculiar. <laughs> oh, um. I've never thought of that question. I, I don't know the answer to that. I really don't. Oh, it's, oh, it's all around us all the time. And I, uh, it's all around us all the time. And it's connecting with it and really believing. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. 
I'm having to drag myself. I'm I'm having to. I'm having to. If I'm just. Oh, I'm just dragging myself back. <laughs> well, oh. I think that answers the question. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right, right, right. Okay. Okay, yeah, right. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> right. I'm 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 fine now, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> what did I want? <laughs> oh yes. That was gorgeous. Sorry, that was absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I had a night's sleep. That was absolutely gorgeous. Ah, oh, God, dear. That was absolutely gorgeous. Oh, right, I'm back now. I would just um, say as an observation that perhaps you might just consider that you are the magic and that the magic is you and that this is the way that you operate. I'm not the magic. The magic is the magic is far bigger than me, far greater than me. It's everywhere. It's not just me. The magic is everywhere. It comes into me, but it's everywhere for everybody. Yep. Oh, my voice is going now. <laughs> oh, <I'm> so sorry. <laughs> So I'll just say at, at uh, some point, maybe even you consider that you aren't just who you believe yourself to be either, but you you are the everywhere too, without limits. That would be wonderful, and it would be even more wonderful if I could, you know, do so much good with it and make so much happiness with it. That would be brilliant. I think, I think you're doing that already. I hope so. I really hope so. Julia, it's been fantastic for you sharing your everyday magic with us on the Quantum Creativity Show. And uh, look forward to the next installment. Wow. <laughs> wow. Because I've decided I'm not dying until I can levitate. And, and move all around and telepathy that I am refusing to die until that happens. So I've got lots of time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Santari. You're a star. It's a pleasure. And so are you. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>